Good afternoon everybody, Colin here with iopreviews.com and today I'm going to be showing something I normally don't show. Um, this is mainly for developers or anybody who is looking to become a developer for um, iOS or um, I think this actually works for um, the App Store on Mac OS X too. But um, what I'm going to be showing I do know for sure is for the Apple App Store. So um, what I'm going to be showing is how to get your app to Apple for review. Now. Um, I'm not going to show every step, but I am going to um, tell you about this before I show you the app that you see here on the screen. And um, that is iTunes Connect, which you will be able to sign into um, through your developer uh, account. And what you do is you go to iTunes Connect, you'll enter all the information about your app. Um, you have to have screenshots, which you can see I have here, um, using the iOS simulator on the computer. Or you can plug your device in if the app is on that device for testing purposes. And you can send the screenshot from your device to your uh, to your computer using Xcode, which is right here. Now, I'm not a coder. I don't know how to code. Um, so I did not use Xcode in making this application. Um, I used an online website that kind of gives you templates and you kind of drag and drop things and set things that way and there's no coding required. And then you you uh, get a bunch of, uh, I think it's two or three certificates from um, your Apple developer account. And you upload a certificate request and it'll send you back instantly. There's no waiting or anything. You just hit download and it'll download a little certificate um, into your downloads right here. iOS distribution uh, certificate dot CER file. Um, and then right here you can see your certificate signing request which identifies your app and identifies you as a developer um, you get, upload those to the website you're using that you made your app on and once you put all those in it'll bundle up bundle them up in your app build your app up for the app store and it'll give you a download um, as you can see here um, dot IPA it shouldn't be in a folder because I, the website I, I, I used uh, didn't work very well and I actually have to use a different website and this app is actually for a friend um, but that didn't work it shouldn't be in a folder like that um, there are two file formats that you can use to upload to uh, application loader are uh, .zip, a zip folder and um, .ipa and um, you just download those you'll click right here um, deliver your app it'll review your applications and uh, you, once you um you have to do the iTunes Connect stuff first, and once you've done that, it will show up in here. Tell it what application you're uploading. Um, that's going to be the icon um, for his online radio app. It's going to tell you to choose the app, and then um, upload it. Once it's uploaded, your thing on iTunes Connect, which I can't show you because of um, there's personal information and stuff like that on there that I just can't show anybody. Um, but it'll say it'll change from waiting for upload to waiting for review. Um, An app will rev review it and either deny or accept it. If it's denied, they'll send you a list of problems with the app or with uh, stuff that caused it to be denied. Once you fix that, you re-upload it and you will um, it will be reviewed again. And once again, either denied or accepted. Um, but what I used an app code or X code. Sorry, my bad. Um, I didn't actually make the app in here like I said. Um, what I did was I used some tools from Xcode such as iOS Simulator and this is actually where you find the application loader. They're all part of um, all part of um, Xcode. And you also have a printer simulator which I don't know exactly what that does. I think that's so you can um, I, yeah, I don't know what that does. I don't know if that's for iOS or what. But um, you have iOS Simulator which you can use a whole bunch of different devices um, when it loads. It's gonna, it might take a second because, okay, there we go. Um, so it's pretty standard. You, just, you don't have any, you have the internet and you can actually put internet apps on there. Like you see, I have the test apps right there. Um, passbook, calendar maps, and all that stuff. And they actually work too. You can, you can use Safari on here. Um, and you have a bunch of different devices, um, like the 64-bit iPad. So you can test uh, new 64-bit apps. Um, and stuff like that. So that's what I used out of Xcode and then you just upload it using Application Simulator. So if you're looking at becoming an iOS developer um, or an App Store developer for Mac, this is pretty much the basic how to upload your application. Um, now making an application is a whole different thing. There's a bunch of, there's a couple different ways you can do it. Um, 
coding is hard. I mean, if you know how to code, then you can give Xcode a try. But once again, um, to become to become a developer, it is ninety nine ninety nine or ninety nine dollars. I don't remember which, but it's ninety nine cents. So, um, yeah. But if you feel like making an app and you want to give it a try, um, then maybe being an iOS developer is for you. So, um, yeah, that's how you upload your application to the App Store, and that's how it's done. Thanks for watching. This has been Colin with Apple Reviews.